Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope your guys' year has started off great so far. For this video, I wanted to show you guys all of the products that I loved in 2017. I know this video is a little late, but better late than never. So if you guys want to see all of my top picks for 2017, then please keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I wanted to start out with is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is by far my favorite favorite eyeshadow palette let me show you guys a little bit what it looks like look at all the beautiful colors I have this on my eyes today um, I cannot put this palette down I feel like I reach for it every single day uh, for the most part and yeah this is just my favorite that has came out in 2017 I love Morphe palettes and this palette is bomb if you don't have it pick it up ASAP and yeah this is a great palette the next one is the Anastasia Glow Kit by Nicole Guerrero. This one is so good. I, As you can see, I like hit pan on the most I've used, which is Glow Getter and Daydream. Um, this palette I tend to reach for a lot, and it's super pigmented. I love that um, Nicole kind of made this palette after like the things that she says, like 143 and she has a love for kitty cat so one of the names is kitty cat um just these tones are just really great for my skin tone um nicole guerrero is one of the first youtubers that i have started watching and greatly look up to her so thanks for coming out with this palette nicole i really love it and i reach for this a lot the next palette is the Too faced peach palette sweet peach palette um this one i reached for a lot in 2017 um as you can see it's uh, kind of dirty but i created a lot of looks with with this um this was another palette before the jacqueline hill palette came out this was another one that i was reaching for almost every single day just because of the warm tones and peachy tones that it has um it also has like green blue and purples these are all tones that work best for me they look great on my skin tone so this was one that i went for a lot also this one smells so good all the Too faced products pretty much smell good also another Too faced product this is the i want candy palette this one was another good one of 2017 and it also smells like candy this was a really good palette um, the color that I really love the most out of this palette is the Sweet Toffee. I found myself using that color a lot more than any of the other colors. Um, but yeah, this palette was really great when it came out. Still use it till this day. Really love this palette. Next for foundation is between two. Um, one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I am currently out of it right now. But my second pick is Drugstore. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is my go-to. This is one I'm wearing right now. Um, in 2017, I could not put this down. And I don't think I'm putting it down for 2018 as well. This foundation is so good I highly recommend it it's only like five six bucks at the drugstore you can't go wrong with this foundation it is full coverage it lasts all day it makes your skin look smooth so I highly recommend this as well as the Maybelline Fit Me powder this loose finishing powder is so great um, especially for baking I use this underneath my eyes um, I bake anywhere that I put concealer I put concealer on my nose my chin my cupid's bow I pretty much set my face with this it really makes your pores look flawless it makes your under eyes look flawless um, this powder is just really really great um, the other one that I love is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I use that to bake as well right now I'm currently out of it so your girl's been using drugstore products and they never fail me Maybelline has really stepped up their game for 2017 and enough a lot of products in my little group right here are from Maybelline well I have two more products from Maybelline yeah only two more so the next one is the face studio blender sponge this sponge has literally changed my life um, this sponge is really similar to um, the beauty blender if I can get it open 
This sponge is like the closest drugstore sponge you can get to a beauty blender besides the Real Techniques one. That one is good too, but this one has just won my heart over. It's super soft. It's not hard. I know a lot of drugstore sponges are really hard, um, but this one isn't. It's super soft, and when you add water to it, it gets extra, extra soft. Um, this one um, also has the flat um, side so that way you could go right underneath your eye really well it has a pointed tip to it um, I don't know this sponge has just hasn't failed me I've gone back to it plenty of times I've purchased this over and over again um, I usually buy a new one like every couple of months or so just because I deal with acne and the bacteria and everything I like to purchase a new sponge and every time I always go back to this so I'm always stocked up on this sponge and it's only like five or six bucks. At, uh, I think I purchased this at Walmart. Um, this is a really great sponge and I love that it's black. Another favorite Maybelline product of mine is the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the highlighter. This is in molten gold. And as you can tell, I've used the crap out of it. It is hitting pan. It is breaking up on me, but I do have a backup. I purchased a new one um, just to prepare myself for when this runs out um, but this highlight is so beautiful it is by far my favorite drugstore highlighter at the moment it is super super pigmented and I have it on today I love the tones of it it goes great with my skin tone and there it is on my skin super super pigmented I love this highlighter I am not gonna stop purchasing this I hope they don't discontinue this because this is one of their best products yet I have heard about the new color that came out I think it's like a rose gold color I have not tried that one yet but I really really want to purchase that one next moving on to the next products that I love these are the Stila liquid eyeshadows these are called the magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow man that's a long name but these eyeshadows are so pigmented and so pretty you don't need a glitter like base like a glitter glue for them which i love and it comes with this adofa applicator so it makes it super easy to paint on your lids let me go ahead and swatch it this color right here is called smoky storm it's like this pretty silvery gold color but they're super pigmented and then my favorite one out of these two is the kitten karma it's more of like a rose gold color and I've used that one a lot I plan to collect these um, collect more colors because they're just so good I highly recommend you guys purchasing these and also speaking of the glitter, my favorite glitter primer is by NYX. This one I use with all of the glitters that you see that I've put on in any of my videos. This one seals them so well, doesn't come off, it doesn't flake, it doesn't get everywhere. This one really holds your glitter. You can even use this as an eyeshadow base. Um, I don't personally, but I've heard that you can. So this is a really, really great product to pick up. And I believe this is only like five or six dollars at Ulta. The next product that I love is this Japanese, I think that's how you say it, Japanese. Um, this is the makeup brush cleaner. This is the rose water scent. This brush cleaner is what I use to spot clean my brushes. It has a really nice rose scent to it. It smells so good every time I clean my brushes. Um, I, all I do is grab a brush and a paper towel and I just spray the brush and then I just swirl it in the paper towel and it gets off as much access. Um, it cleans it really good. I mean, if you just want to like spot clean to change a color or something um, and then maybe like once a week or, or maybe like once every two weeks, clean all your brushes um, with soap and water. But this one does the trick if you just want to spot clean them. It smells so good and cleans the brushes very well. For a setting spray, my favorite would have to be the All Nighter Urban Decay. This one sets my face all day, even when it's like humid. And this setting spray never fails me. It has always been my go-to. If you guys haven't tried this and you have oily skin, I highly recommend this setting spray. So yeah. 
go ahead and purchase this because this is really great. It's a staple in my makeup kit. I will always use the spray unless I find something better, but I haven't, so this is a really great setting spray. Now for lip products, the ones that I cannot stop using and I cannot put down, I constantly use them over and over again ever since they came out are the Kylie Nudes Liquid Lipsticks. Um, the only one that I don't really use is the Naked color because it's just way too light for my skin tone. Um, the ones that I gravitate more towards are Commando. Is this Commando? No. This one is Birthday Suit, and it's more of like an orangey um, nude shade. This one is Bare. This is like a pinky nude shade. And this one is Commando. This is more of a peachy nude shade. So these three liquid lipsticks are the ones that I always gravita gravitate towards because they are just the perfect nudes for my skin tone. And I just love the feel of them. Um, they are very pigmented, they go on very smoothly, they dry very smoothly, and yeah, this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. And then the next lipsticks I actually picked up not too long ago. I actually picked them up um, on my Christmas vacation back home in Texas. I went to the MAC store and I purchased the Nicki Minaj nude lipsticks. They were on sale for like 40% off, so I got them for like $8 each. I thought that was a steal you know, two for the price of one lipstick. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Plus the tones, the tone of them was really good. I tried them on in store and I love the way they looked on me. I'm actually wearing one right now. This one is called Pink Print. This is off of her album. If you guys ever um, listen to Nicki Minaj's album, it, one of them is called The Pink Print. And this is a pinky nude. I love the packaging. It is a pretty color and it also has her autograph on it. But this is one that I'm wearing right now. Like I said, it's a pink tone nude. Might as well touch it up a little bit. But if you follow me on Snapchat, I posted about these as well. So these are probably very familiar to you. Next one is called Nikki's Nude. This one is a little bit darker nude. It's more on the orange tone side. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you. But this one is also really, really, really pretty. Especially for my skin tone. That's what it looks like. Super, super pretty. So yeah, both of these lipstick I fell in love with the color. Nikki did a really good job on picking out the colors for these. And then for lip glosses, has to go to Rihanna's lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. This is the gloss bomb. I think it's the universal gloss bomb. I don't have the name on it. But I believe it's called the Universal gloss balm and this color is um really really pretty it's kind of like a nude pink but it's very sheer i'll go ahead and put this right on top it just brings your lips to life when you put it on it's super glossy and it smells so good i believe i mentioned this and i wore this in one of my other videos but as you can see, it's super glossy. It's not sticky. It is by far my favorite lip gloss of 2017 um, that Rihanna has came out with. I haven't tried any of her um, other lip products that just came out, but I can't wait to try them. And then for drugstore, my favorite glosses has to go to Maybelline's Vivid Hot Lacquers. These glosses are so pigmented and shiny and they're not too sticky. Um, these are my favorite ones. Um, the color is too cute and unreal more one is like a pinky nude and the other one is more of a brown nude these two I have been wearing pretty much all summer long um, and I got these ones before the Rihanna one came out I wear the Rihanna one constantly if I go for a gloss um, but these are the second ones that I pick up because they're so pigmented and it also depends on what makeup look I'm going for um, if I want more of a pigmented lip gloss I definitely reach for these so yeah these are super affordable I would go pick it up if I were you because they are so good they come in all kinds of colors and they're super cheap I believe Maybe they're $6 each. Don't quote me. I think they're like 6 or $7. But super affordable and they work really well.
We are almost done here, guys. <laughs> but my favorite fragrance for 2017 would have to be the Marc Jacobs Daisy. This one is more of the pink one. This one has the pink and yellow flowers. I know they have one that's like all yellow. Um, and then they have the blue bottle as well. But this one is by far my favorite. I got it as a gift from my mother-in-law and I cannot put this down. I'm always using it. It smells so good, nice and sweet and just... I don't even know how to explain the smell, but it smells so good. I've used up pretty much almost all of it. I'm trying to like really save it and use it sparingly. Um, only for like special occasions or um, something very important. I've been kind of chilling out on it just because I don't want to use it all. Um, but if I do right now, I am definitely going to purchase this again because it is so good. It smells so good and can't go wrong with Marc Jacobs. So for my last product of 2017, it's going to be a hair product. This is the Hot Tools Curling Iron. This is the Extra Long Barrel. I believe it's one inch and I purchased this from Ulta. This one has really um, been my favorite, especially for long hair. Um, when I have my extensions in, they're super, super long. I still use it for my own hair, but even when I have my extensions in, um, this one helps out really well just because there's more room on the barrel to curl. So that is one reason why I purchased this. Um, I can also wand curl with this and the curls come out so beautiful and it heats up really well. And it also has this little clamp thing to set it on the counter um, without burning your counter. It has the temperature adjustment on the side. Um, Hot Tools has always been my number one brand that I've used as far as curling irons. Um, they never fail me. I have a bunch of them. And uh, as you guys know, hair is like my first love. Um, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I've worked in the salon for many years and hairstyling is one of my favorite things to do. I definitely have to get back into more hair tutorials for you guys. Um, I don't think I've done one on here yet, but hair is, like I said, my first love and I will be bringing more hair tutorials for you guys. So be on the lookout for that so that is it for all of my top picks for 2017 um i mean i had a lot of palettes and i feel like in 2017 they came out with so many palettes and i just felt like i couldn't keep up with all of the palettes so these are the ones that i mainly use the most and these are the top things that i wear on a daily basis or my go-to's when i'm getting a full glam on um, these products will not fail you. Go ahead and try them. I cannot wait for what's in store for 2018. I hope your year has started off really great. I know mine has. And thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button now. Turn on that bell for the notifications on when I upload so you guys don't miss out on another video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. So crazy.